part of the Christmas celebration uh, we hear a lot about is what the angel said from heaven uh, to the shepherds, that glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. And it goes on and says, and goodwill to men. Well, if we're going to have peace on earth, and we need to think about this a little bit, then we have to extend that goodwill to the entire creation, not just to other fellow human beings, but to the animals and to the environment in which we live. That's all part of having peace on earth. I mean, how can we have peace on earth with the global warming and the horrible storms and the droughts and, and the floods and all of the things that we get because of global warming? I mean, you can't have peace on earth when your house is being destroyed. That doesn't bring that together. And when animals are being killed, how is there peace on earth? There can't be. You can't have a slaughterhouse. You can't have factory farms and have peace on earth. That's not peace on earth. Oh, peace on my earth, my portion of the earth? No, that's not what the Bible is talking about. It's saying that Jesus was born into this world to bring unconditional peace to this earth. But that means we have to listen to what his teachings are. And Jesus kept pointing us to God's heavenly will. He kept telling us the things that we're supposed to do or not do. And if you remember, he got angry at the clergy because they weren't doing it and they should have known better. So what we're looking at here is we have to live a life. And if you think about it, Jesus gave us an example of prayer. The second part of it is that we do here on earth the way it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Isn't that doing what is in heaven here on earth? And that's our job. If we're praying for it, then that means we want to do it. And we need God's help to do it. That doesn't mean everybody's going to listen to us. And the way this earth is right now, not many people are. But if we shut up, it'll even be worse. But if we keep speaking up, it'll be better. If we keep living the life of peace on earth in everything that we do, that also can become contagious and other people will join in. That's the only way we're ever going to have peace on earth. And then it's goodwill to our fellow human beings and the rest of creation. Amen.